In this problem, we're going to look at um, finding and estimating shrinkage strain uh, at different time periods using um, the ACI 209 approach. Um, so this is just one uh, example of a, an approximation method or an estimation method for shrinkage, um, but it's very similar to uh, many others that you can use. Uh, so the first step is we need to calculate our uh, required coefficients and these coefficients are based on our given uh, material and um, environmental conditions. So um, the first uh, coefficient that we'll need to calculate is our uh, curing factor. In ACI 209, our curing factor can be found uh, in table 2, 5, 3. And we can see that for a 7-day moist cure, we'll have a curing factor of 1.0. Next, we have our relative humidity factor. Uh, so our relative humidity is uh, 70%. So we'll plug in our 70% and we'll find that our relative humidity factor is equal to uh, 0 0.686. We next have our volume to surface area ratio um, factor. So in our case, we have a volume to surface area ratio of three and a half inches. So we'll plug in here three and a half inches and find our factor to be 0 0.788. We next have our slump factor. So our slump is two and a half inches in this case. Um, so our slump factor will be equal to 0 0.99. And you can see that a larger slump will lead to a larger uh, factor, which will lead to larger shrinkage. We next have our fine aggregate factor. So in our case, we have 60% fine aggregate. So we'll plug in our 60% and we'll find our fine aggregate factor to be 1.02. Next, we have our cement con content factor. So we have a cement content of 752 pounds of cement per cubic yard. So we can plug that into our equation and find our cement content factor to also be 1.02. And we can see that increased uh, cement contents will lead, also lead to uh, higher shrinkage strains. And our final factor is our air content factor. So in our case, we have 7% air. So we'll plug in our 7% and we'll have our air content factor to be 1.01. So after we've calculated all of our factors, our second step is we want to use our coefficients. So we'll use our coefficients uh, to calculate our ultimate shrinkage. Uh, so we'll use our expression for ultimate shrinkage, uh, epsilon sub sh ultimate u is equal to 780 times all of our shrinkage factors times 10 to the negative 6. So we'll, what's involved in this uh, shrinkage factor is all of our other shrinkage factors. So our 1.0 times 0.686 times 0.788 times 0.99 times 1.02 times 1.02 times 1.01. And that'll give us our uh, shrinkage factor here or a total shrinkage factor of 0 
0.562. So then when we take our 0.562 times our 780, we'll get an ultimate shrinkage of 439 times 10 to the negative 6. So this here is our ultimate shrinkage. So steps 3 and 4 are to calculate the shrinkage at each time, which we'll do using this table, and then we'll plot our shrinkage over time uh, using the graph shown below. Uh, so first we need to calculate the uh, shrinkage at each time. Um, so we'll start with our concrete age. Um, so we aren't as much concerned with our concrete age as we are the time after the initial curing. Uh, so if we have a seven day moist cure, then our time after curing will be seven days less than uh, our concrete age. Uh, so we'll have uh, an age of 49 days after curing, 111, uh, 201, and 386. Uh, then we'll use this age in here for our t, and we can calculate uh, another component of our, our time factor. Um, so we'll find that we'll have 0.583, 0 0.760, um, 0.852, and 0.917. Uh, so then you can see that we'll use this factor right in here and multiply it times our ultimate shrinkage that we found before uh, to find our um, shrinkage at each time. So we'll have 256, 334, 374, and 403. And then finally, we can do the uh, differential shrinkage. So the shrinkage um, starting after our uh, initial um, 56 here. So we'll have 0, 78, 118, and 147. Um, so what we're going to do then is we're going to plot um, our shrinkage versus our time uh, down in the plot below. So you can see we'll start with uh, 0, 0. Um, so at, at 0 time, we're not going to have any shrinkage. Uh, at 56 days, we're going to have um, 256. So we'll be right about there. At 118, we'll be about at 334. We'll be right about there. At 208, we'll be at... Uh, 374, so we'll be right about there, and then at 393, we'll be at 403, so we'll be right about there. So you can see uh, as we increase in time, our uh, shrinkage strain is going to level off. Um, so most of the shrinkage is going to occur in the first four months or so. And, uh, of course, you can get a, a better plot if you, you plot it in Excel.